if you know where you are, for example, you know on a coordinate plane that you are at a certain location and you know which direction you're going. Let me rephrase that. If you know your slope, also known as a differential equation, then you can reasonably predict where you'll be. You can, you can say, well, you know, three steps from now, I'm gonna be at such and such a place. So I will take a step with the slope and then use that new coordinate, this new X and Y, in my slope, my differential equation, to predict where I'm going. And then I will use my new X and Y to predict where I'm going. This method is referenced in the movie Hidden Figures, and the URL is right here. It's great. So you are going to be given some information. You're gonna be given a differential equation, which is slope, an initial condition, that's gonna be an X and a Y, and you're also gonna be given a value for delta x, and this is how far you're stepping. So it might help if we write some of those things down. So this is how far we are stepping with each step. My initial condition is going to be an x and a y, and that's just where I start. And then my differential equation is going to be, well, my slope, I and mean, that's what we've been dealing with lately anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and just kind of jump in with this. And as we do, there's gonna be a general format that we use. I'm gonna write it in red up here at the top. I'm gonna to have my X, I'm gonna have my Y, and then I'm gonna have this little thing that doesn't look like anything that makes sense, but it will in just a second. We're gonna have an X, we're gonna have a Y, and then we're gonna have, this is gonna be the top of my chart, always the top of my chart. Every time I do this, this is the top of my chart. These will involve charts, and this will be the top every time. It's going to be dy dx times delta x plus y. And if you're like, whoa, I'll never remember it. Yes, you will. You're about to remember it within the next five seconds. This little formula right here, don't make it harder than it is. This is m, there's your slope, x, delta x, but it's how far we're stepping, plus a y value. B. It is, it is essentially the equivalent of mx plus b. When you first learned to graph, you would start at b, your y-intercept, and then you would, from your y-intercept, use your slope to get to your next point. That's exactly what we're doing, okay? So, we're going to use Euler's method to approximate y of 0 0.5 with a step size of 0 0.1, given the differential equation dy over dx equals 2x and the initial value y of 0 equals 3. I know it looks very overwhelming. The very first time you do this, let's just make a chart. So, here we go. We're going to have an x, a y, and then we're going to have dy over dx times delta x plus y, okay? That is our chart. And we're given an initial condition. So I'm gonna come over here on the side and I'm gonna write some things down, I'll put them in green. Uh, the initial value, the initial condition, initial, initial is zero comma three, because they said so. I am stepping up each time by 0.1. Now they may not always give me that, I said they will give you that, but they will at least give you a way to calculate it. They may say, we're gonna go from zero to 0.5 in five steps. Well, you know, 0.5 divided by five would be 0.1, that sort of thing. So we're stepping up by 0.1 each time. And we also need to know our slope, which in this case is 2x. So we're gonna just plug these things in and keep on going with it. So here we go. I will start at zero, three. Let's make that look like the word that it is, initial. There we go. Zero, three. All right, well, dy dx times delta x plus one. Well, let's just rewrite a couple things because it's gonna help us later. This is two x, dy dx is two x, times delta x, which is 0 0.1 consistently, and then plus y. In this case, it's gonna be three. So as we go from one step to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, we're eventually gonna get where we wanna go. Where do we wanna go? We wanna get here. We wanna find out what the output would logically be at 0 0.5. So that's 0 0.1. This is 0 0.2. This is 0 0.3. This is 0 0.4. This is 0 0.5. When I'm finished, my answer will be this one right here. Whatever is in this box will be my final answer. Okay, I won't have to go through all that one. So let's jump in. I think I've already said that once, so let's do it. So two times x would be zero. 
uh, times, oops, times 0 0.1, and then plus y, and y is 3. I'm using this x, this y, and then all this other information here. So as I do this, I'm going to end up with 2 times 0 times 0.1, so 3. That predicted my next output, so it goes here. So it's essentially what we did at the very beginning with just a really rough graph, like, hey, I'm starting here, which is not 0, 3, but just work with me. There's a point, and then I went to the next one. Oh, now I know the y value. Then I go to the next one, and now I know the y value. Then I go to the next one. Now I know the y value. That's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to keep going with this. So 2 times x, 2 times 0 0.1 times 0 0.1, 0 0.1, plus the y value, which is 3. And at this point, I'm gonna have 0.1 times 0.1, and then times two, so 0 0.02. So 3.02, there we go. This is 3.02, things are gonna start getting a little bit sloppy here. So two times x times 0 0.1 plus 3.02. Here's my new y value. So two x times 0 0.1 plus y, that's what I'm dealing with, and I have 2 times point two times point 0.1 plus 3.02, and I have 3.06. All right, starting to second guess myself here. Nope, I'm good so far. All right, 3.06 goes here. We're going to use three decimal places if it goes any further. So two, but we're not gonna round off too early. Two times x, so 0 0.3 times 0 0.1 plus our new y value. This gets a little tedious. Normally these are shorter than this one. So you can't see what I'm typing, but I'm typing. So I'll show you what I'm typing. Two times 0 0.3 times 0 0.1 plus 3.06. And I got, I threw my marker, my pen. It's okay, it didn't get on me. 3.12. We are slowly, slowly, let me straighten that up, getting to the point where we're going to be able to predict what happens if I have an input of 0.5, okay? Again, we, we had a starting point, and then we take a step that was 0.1 long, and then we take another step that's 0.1 long, and then we take another step, and we're slowly getting there. We're predicting y after y after y value until we get where we want to go. Once I crank this next one out, it goes here, and that is my final answer. And notice, it is an approximation, because sometimes you can't get the exact one. We could in this case, but sometimes you have situations like this where you can't separate the variables. That's a different lesson altogether. Getting ahead of myself, sorry. Two times 0 0.4 times 0 0.1 plus 312 is going to give me, we could do this in our heads if we wanted to. Ah, let's do it. That's 0.04, that's 0.08 if we double it, so 320. Final answer, 320. I'm gonna check it on the calculator just to be sure. So 3.2, I would hate to do this whole video and you get that last one wrong, right? Yeah, 3.2. All right, final answer is 3.2. Let's write it as the final answer that it is. So y of 0 0.5 is not necessarily equal, but could be equal to, so approximately 3.2. Uh, 3.2 is fine. It does truncate. Um, I'm going to leave it like that. If we, if it did go on and on, we could stop it at three decimal places, but this time, not necessary. 